What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Now I'm actually kind of getting fed up uh, with videos on bashing Bungie, but from me and seeing them from others, yes the game is at its lowest point ever, the community is leaving, content creators are moving on and while Bungie are trying their best to revive this mess, for me I'm trying my hardest to stick around, I mean I really am, but it's obviously affecting my channel at a point now like no other, and that is in a negative way, I'm losing subs every day, money is dropping and it's getting to a point now where I'm thinking about my future on platform i mean like obviously you guys know i have to support my family youtube is basically my full-time job it's getting to the stage now where i soon won't be able to depend on youtube to do that but i ain't here to mourn about such uh, such is life and sometimes you fail in life sometimes you succeed it's just one of them things i mean i can't blame anyone but myself i believed in bungie like many i thought destiny 2 was going to be a major success again like many and it just hasn't turned out that way it's for this reason that I'm branching out and I've started to stream just to introduce new games to my channel and to be honest it isn't going too bad. It also allows those of you who truly want to support me and those who can support me to sponsor my channel. Much like a Twitch sub, it truly helps the content creator out. I mean I thought about Patreon but I really don't have much to offer back besides the content I create. For those who are curious about sponsoring me on my channel, you can via the link at the top of that video description. I will see out the foreseeable future, if things pick up I'll be sticking around, if they don't, well again, such is life and it will be time to move on. So it's basically breaking point for both me, other content creators and Bungie themselves. Bungie are though trying so desperately hard to revive the game by making big changes to the original basics of Destiny 2. They are making changes trying to make it more like the first game which I suppose at the moment is the right thing to do as most people miss what the first game offered and will agree that Destiny 2 is not a scratch on what the first game offered, it's basically just a watered down version. But you guys don't need me telling you this, I guarantee you've heard it a million times over, I myself have said this on almost every video. But what stirred up this and the point beyond this video is the fact of recent weekend numbers. If you guys are aware of such websites like Destiny Tracker and Trials Report, if you would have checked numbers over the weekend, you would have been hit by a few digits which are beyond shocking. The game has been out for 5 months and these numbers are no doubt the lowest we have ever seen from the franchise. 30,000 people registered playing Trials of the Nine. 30,000? That's absolutely shocking. Destiny 1 at its all time lowest I believe was like 5 times this number. It registered 180,000 over both games on all platforms PvP wise. I mean that is, well, sad. It's actually quite sad. And things are just getting worse and worse. Bungie no doubt are aware of these numbers too. And to be honest I can't imagine how they're feeling. They have to be aware of the fact that all they are striving towards with these D2 updates and so forth. They must be aware that it could all be for nothing. The thing is it will bring some back. That's a certainty. But will the game ever be home to the masses again? I honestly don't think it can be. Everyone and I mean almost everyone I speak to about the game all say it's too late for them. Destiny 2 will never bring them back, it's too little, it's too late. For me, I think the game can be great, it's just going to take major improvements to what it offers now. For sure Bungie are working on many improvements, but some won't arrive for over 2 months. The game across all platforms at the moment is struggling to reach 200,000 players. This number is dropping week in week out. In 2 months this number, well I'm scared to even imagine what it will be. So what changes do we have to look forward to? Well planned for tomorrow's update we have Nightfall scoring and high score tracking with Destination, Crucible and Nightfall emblem variants. These new emblems are for all kinds of new buffs. They also have a built in reworked aura system and they are quite unique compared to what we're used to. They're definitely a new feature to the Destiny universe. But are they enough? In my opinion, not the end. There is also a few other changes but nothing major at all. The update which is 1.1.4 in March in my opinion should see a turnaround in numbers for the game. This update for me is the start, if things don't pick up with this one I don't think they ever will. Weapon and ability sandbox changes, here they are basically reverting back to how Destiny 1 felt in terms of you feeling like a superhero playing the game. Weapons will see many buffs to impact time to kill, ability sandbox changes will make cooldowns much faster so you can use your abilities more often as well as many other things. The exact details ain't been released yet though so expect them pretty soon, obviously I will have a video covered on them when they are released. We also get 6v6 iron banner, now 6v6 is something I feel has been missing since the start and this alone will make pvp seem more fast paced for sure. 
We get Hello Strike modifiers, which are good and add to that challenge, but I feel unless there is reward and reason to actually play strikes, these don't mean or change anything. We also get a weekly Crucible playlist of Mayhem and Rumble. Now I'm excited here as Mayhem was fun as heck and I loved it when it was last here. Rumble I wasn't really ever a fan of but I know many of you guys were. We also get crucible ammo and gameplay changes, crucible quitter penalties and repeat crucible map and strike protection. So it's clear Bungie are trying to fix PvP. They are trying to reel back in all the PvP players who left the game, that being content creators and streamers. Because let's face it, what your favourite streamer plays, you're likely to play. Well that's what Bungie believe. Possibly also with this March update we could see the inclusion of Nightfall Strike unique rewards. These we know are actual weapons, so we will see exclusive strike weapons return, but Bungie have said this isn't a certainty of coming out with this update, so we will see. In May if all goes to plan with these changes we get a major update which will include the new DLC. We see the Each of Worlds Prestige mode, Crucible ranks which change with the seasons, private matches, more vault space, the multi emote feature, exotic masterworks, seasonal vendor progression, faction rally improvements and the possibility of exotic weapon and armor sandbox changes. So the update will be big but you can't help but feel much like what I said earlier by the time this update arrives in May what state will the game be in? Will it be too late? I certainly hope not but I got that feeling it just might be. Breaking point in my opinion is on March 27th next month. This update is the game changer, but will it actually change the game? We will see guys. Is it too little too late for Bungie? Is Destiny 2 beyond revival? Are you patiently waiting for a feature to return which you've wanted to see since the start? Let me know your opinion on this down below within that comment section. Guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.